Hello lovelies and welcome to today's video. Today I am showing you my makeup storage and I guess collection because a lot of you have been asking how I store my makeup and if you could see how I keep it all organized and what makeup I have. So let's go and I'll show you around. Alright guys, so we have walked into the bathroom where you see this giant wardrobe, which is pretty big and doesn't leave us a whole lot of space in here, but it is wonderful for storage. So we're going to open it ah, and show you my makeup storage collection. So I just got a bunch of regular small clear plastic bins. Up in here I have some ribbons. This one I have some headbands. There's some Forever 21 ones and Rue 21 I believe. There are those. In this one I have like my hair bows or whatever you want to call them. I guess like clip-on bows and all of that. That one was Princess Anna from Hot Topic. Up here I have my perfumes and then one spray. This is pink, warm, and cozy, and one lotion. These are the ones that I use the most out of the sprays and lotions. So I keep Beach Night and Warm and Cozy up here, as well as some of my perfumes. So I have my Joe jo Malone, Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Um, I have Taylor Swift's. I have this right here, which is, I believe it's called, what are you, Malia? Something like that. It's from Hollister. This is Sonia Kashuk's Purple Seduction. I heard about that from Fleur de Force. Um, she recommended it and I loved it. This is Britney Spears. I think this is Curious. I'm not sure I got that one for Christmas. Yeah, so there's some of them. There's a few more back in there. Then we come down here to the drawers. And again, these are just clear bins. And I got these at one of our local stores. You can probably find these at Walmart, Bed Bath & Beyond. I didn't get any really fancy ones because we don't really have any here. Um, I would love to have like a nice Ikea thing or something. But I'm thinking maybe I'll line these with some scrapbook paper and put little labels on them so I can tell what they are. I'm not sure, just to make it look a little prettier. But we're going to open the first drawer and ta-da! We have some liquid matte lipsticks, the Revlon collection. I really, really love these so I have tried to get every color. Um, yeah, they're just probably one of my all-time favorite liquid lips. Over here, I have some color jolts. I have stripped down, and I think I have Never Bear, right? What are you? Yeah, Never Bear. And I have Berry Naughty. And I've been using these off and on. I like those. They definitely are well worth it. I have a Kylie lip kit. Love, love, love. This is in, I believe, Mary is the color. Part of her holiday collection. Um, got some lip glosses back here. The Vivid Matte Liquid Lip and Infallible Liquid Lip. A couple more lip glosses. These are all kind of like lip glosses from Revlon. Then I have my NYX Soft Matte Lips, Transylvania, Copenhagen, Tokyo, Istanbul, a few others. And then back there I have a few like... Um, lip chapsticks. So there's that drawer. Love that drawer. Oh yeah, and my all-time fave. I'll just show it to you because I love it and I highly recommend it. If you haven't tried it, it is the Shine Shot number two Maybelline. This is the ultimate, ultimate lip gloss. I will buy this as long as they make it. I love it. Okay, drawer two. This one's a little messy right now, but we've got a primer sitting here on the top, which is supposed to be over in the corner, but that's okay. So I've got a primer. Um, these are the liners, like liquid liners. So I have my Physician's Formula. What else? Um, what are you, Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline Master Graphic. Um, then a bunch of liners. So I have Marc Jacob liners. All of my Alame, can you tell I am a fan? And I have one in brown because I accidentally bought the wrong color, but I've used it off and on and it's pretty good. I have the Unique one, um, Jordana. Those are the two that I mentioned I really like for liners. Then I have Revlon, Butter London, and this is like a purple, blue, green, and blue liner. These are really cool. What are you? This is glitter. So there's some of those. Then over here we have the mascaras. I have tried out the Revlon collection. The purple one, the red one is my all-time favorite. The blue one, I'm not digging very much. Um, got some under eye powder. 
This is a white liner, a black liner, a Bobbi Brown under eye corrector, Bobbi Brown liquid liner, a Maybelline, yep, Maybelline Lash Sensation, Bobbi Brown, which is a really, really good mascara, but expensive. A couple brow products back here. We have, what are you? Brunette Revlon Brow Fantasy. Ew, this is a liquid and a pencil. Probably wouldn't buy this one again, but I, I like it. It's okay. I prefer these little pencils though, definitely. So I've got NYX, the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I have a Revlon or Maybelline? I think it's Maybelline one laying around somewhere. Have the e.l.f. Brow Kit, and this is decent. It's not my favorite. Um, this color really isn't that great. This one does work a lot better than expected. It gives my eyebrows a nice tint. Here is the Too Faced Mascara. Ooh, Dirty. The Pink Revlon, which is pretty decent. Million Lashes Excess, and I'm not sure who this is. Maybe L'Oreal? Haven't tried this one too much yet, so I don't have a full report. The CoverGirl Super Sizer, which Tati is in love with, and I don't know, I think I got a bad one. I'm gonna have to try another one of these and see if I like it, we'll see. And then an NYX Tease Mascara. So there's that drawer. Moving on to the next one, we have my fake beauty blenders. Couple of primers over here. This is Wet n Wild's primer. Um, I have some cover effects, or FX drops to try. Heard good things about them. The e.l.f. High Definition Powder. A L'Oreal Lumi Cushion, Age Rewind Infallible, my Infallible Setting Spray, the CoverGirl Advanced Olay, Airbrush Effects by Revlon, True Blend, not digging this one, um, and the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 Creamy Vanilla. I have to mix this with another foundation because it is still too dark, but I love it. And then back here are a couple of like the tubed ones. So I have my Rimmel Stay Matte a BB cream, and I think that's a L'Oreal one as well. Then we have a eyeshadow drawer. These are a couple smaller palettes. So I have the CoverGirl Roses, the CoverGirl Nudes, the Revlon little quad palette there. Um, one of these that I tried, which is okay, not the best thing in the world, because it's a little messy. It'd be easier if it had a better brush but it is the Color Tattoo Eye Chrome, and this is by Maybelline. Then I have the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows. Love, 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 love these so much. I want them in a palette. Oh my gosh, seriously, these are the best eyeshadows ever. Um, what are you? You are a golden glow. You're actually a powder, not an eyeshadow, but that's okay. Bobbi Brown, um, Elf. MAC, Alme, ELF, L'Oreal, and Maybelline Color Tattoo. So there are those. Whoop. Then we move into the palette drawer, and we have the TARDIS Pro, which I just got at Christmas time. Love, 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 isn't it beautiful? This is one of my favorite palettes right now. Oh yeah. I have the NYX underneath it all. I have I have the Color Prevails Butterfly, the Too Faced Stardust Palette. What are you? Revlon. Oh, this is the Mermaid Palette, I believe. Hold on. beautiful. This actually doesn't have as much pigment as I would like it to, but I do love the colors. The Tardis in Bloom. This is amazing. Wonderful, wonderful neutral palette. And it smells like cocoa. Hot cocoa. Love that. Then we have the Kylie Holiday palette, which is gorgeous. If I can open it. So pretty. Love, 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 love. Look at those. I wish it was Christmas all over again just so I could wear those shades. But you can get away with wearing them middle of spring, winter time, right? Yep. I'm going to anyway, whether you can or not. I have the Kylie Peach Palette. 
stunning. Love, 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 so much love. Can't say love enough. The Naked Smoky Urban Decay Palette. And I got this on sale actually for, I believe, like 19 bucks. It was insane. These colors are to die for. It is my first Urban Decay Palette and I love it. I have the L'Oreal. What are you? I think it's the Smoky L'Oreal. These are from a store called Five Below and they were just like little $3 palettes. And they're kind of dupes for the Urban Decay ones and they work really well actually. I do like them a lot. So they have some fun different colors. And then the neon one, which is kind of like a electric palette dupe. They're so cool. I use this one a lot actually when I do the princess parties just because of the purples. As you can see, perfect for Queen Elsa. So there are those. And then I think I've got one more down here. This is the Stila in the mind palette or in the moment. Niche is almost used up. It's so pretty. I love, love, love that white color right there. And then this is the MAC Nutcracker. And this just has some really nice glitter pigments in them that you can add to your eyeshadow looks. They're gorgeous. So much fun. I have loved using those. So there is that drawer. And then I have one more drawer of a few palettes and they're just bigger ones so they don't fit. I have the Sephora Bow Palette and this has like itty bitty eyeshadows. They're kind of really hard to use, but they are really nice. Like those a lot. You open it and slide it and it has like some more eyeshadows down here. And then the bottom has like some lip glosses right there and a few more of like the cream shadows. So this is a really cool palette. I have the Minnie Mouse one, Ew. Sephora's Minnie Mouse collection, love this, they're so cute and they all have like really fun names. So we have Big Shoes to Fill, Miss Minnie, Puppy Love, Pick Me Up at Eight, they're so cute, I love the little Minnie Mouse one with the little polka dots. I have a BH Cosmetics one down here at the bottom which has 120 colors and amazing pigment. Let me see if I can open this real quick. Look at that and then you flip this up and it has more underneath which I don't know if I can do with one hand but we're gonna try oh my gosh right wicked cool and the last palette is this Alice in Wonderland through the looking glass palette which is so cool you open it and has the little quote you open it and it has a giant butterfly yay it just makes me happy I don't know about you guys but it makes me very happy and then you actually pull out the bottom drawer this is going to be difficult can I do it it has more quotes down here on the bottom um, I'm sure you guys have seen this palette already but if not there's part of it Best I can do one-handed. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. A lot more darker colors than anything, but again, a beautiful palette. So, as you can tell, I have more eyeshadow than I need, like, ever, but I love eyeshadow palettes. Down here, I have a couple more drawers. We have some highlighters. I've got, this one's all broken up, sadly, because I dropped it. The Powder Glow Illuminator from L'Oreal Lumi. Pretty much everything in here is Lumi because I love them. And then one e.l.f. shiny, what are you, natural? Like blushes, highlighters kind of things. More blushes and a couple more highlighters. These are more of the powder ones. I have the Illuminating Palette from Wet n Wild. My favorite all-time blush ever, e.l.f. in the color pink passion. Ladies and gentlemen, the best blush in the world. Ah, the crowd goes wild. Some concealers in this drawer, the e.l.f. contour blush, the e.l.f. concealer, the NYX concealer, and a Makeup Revolution contour conceal kit, which is excellent cream. I like cream more than powder when I'm doing contouring. And then the holy grail, oh, these are all my lipsticks, how I store them, it's just a plastic container and I have lined them all up so I can see them. So I have the L'Oreal collection, which is my all-time favorite. I love the pinks, reds, and the nudes. Then I have a few Milani cream ones. I have a few more L'Oreal. L'Oreal and Maybelline are like my favorite lipsticks. Maybelline has done an amazing job. I love the bolds, the color bold collection, and I like all of the nude colors as well. 
I have a few Wet n Wild. Um, these are from Five Below. These are the glazed lip paints. They are dupes for the, I believe, Too Faced ones. Um, what are you? These are the Liquid Matte Lips, which are wonderful. I have a couple of MAC lipsticks in here, Velvet Teddy um, and Russian Red, I believe. So that's pretty much it for there. And then down here is the rest of like my sprays and lotions. So all the extras sit down here. And my makeup brushes in a giant pot. <laughs> so there you go. Hope you guys have enjoyed seeing my collection. And let me know how you store your makeup and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!